one free way to do it right now is to cable manage. Because mm. I've seen a lot of stages that could use some better cable management. That's a great point. And that's free. And it, you would be surprised how much better it'll make your stage look. I never even think about that when it comes to stage design. But oh. you're, it's so true. You guys have some cool little cable hider things with the boards that you've made, yeah, right? Like, what are those? That's just two pieces of wood made into a right angle. And then we hide the P16s behind it because they were on stands. And you could see them in the main camera shot right behind our pastor, which is Cade. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, they cleaned it up quite a bit. Don't look behind our false wall. Everything's managed. It's just thrown behind the false wall where you can't see it. Hey, so. if that's what you got to do, if you got to put a false wall up, get creative with it. Yeah. <laughs> I would say think through how to achieve multiple looks out of your different elements that you're adding. I think sometimes people redo their stage design and it only lasts for a season or feels fresh for a season because it's just one look. Mm -hmm. Whether that's, hey, we're going all in on LED tape. And we're going to make these crazy geometric shapes, you know, and uh, that's all across our back of our stage. Like for us, we've been living with the same stage design now for a little over three years. I think the reason it's been able to s seem fresh enough is that we have a mixture of all those elements, whether that's LED tape or Edison bulbs hanging around or gif different giant Edison fake LED bulbs on dimmers um, or actually some more color wash type stuff on mesh walls, you know, aluminum window screening stuff. So try to think through that. I mean, I have a video on my channel that you can check out that's uh, about cheap stage design stuff where I kind of break down some of those things in more detail. Um, and there's lots of great stuff. I mean, churchstagedesigns.com is just, you know, go there and you can you can kill a couple hours trying to get ideas. No doubt. <laughs> so. Oh, I was going to say, don't chase fads. Because mm, yeah. in a couple of years, you're just going to regret doing it. <laughs> yeah. We have so much access to other churches and that's what true. they're doing. Yeah. And then you feel like, well, everybody's doing it. Listen, Alan, that's coming in from fishing last, you know, Saturday, and he's just here to worship. Like, he's not going around judging, like, well, they're still using barn wood, you know. <laughs> I'm not coming to this church. I think it's more about the feeling that some, you know, you get when you're in a space. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and how that that kind of translates. So that's a good point. Don't worry too much about being in style or out of style. I would say try to do things that are able to be kind of remorphed into different things. So, like when we did our LED tape design, we tried to make a modular to where it's like here's a six foot stick that it's all attached on there with uh, ends on it so that way if we do want to move it to this other angle or something we can yeah, and uh, not just lock it down staple it to the wall or something <laughs> so, and I like that you asked about key lighting before you asked about uh -huh. stage design it's most important oh my gosh spend yeah. money on that first yeah seriously I mean you've seen it when you guys review live streams people immediately jump to the fun stuff like New cameras, you know, new stage design stuff, but then they just don't even have enough light on their stage or it's not, you know, washed correctly. And so then it just, it'll kill it. You mm -hmm. can have a nice camera without good light. It's not going to be good. If your front lighting is not looking that great and you don't have money to buy all new lights, start looking at ways that you can improve what you already have. Like he said, by maybe you need to use gels to get the color temperature better, or you can buy, maybe you can buy some barn doors to put on it to help direct the light a little bit better. Or maybe you can just put some diffusion gels on it to make it not so hot, especially on certain people. Yeah. And maybe even just, you need to adjust them. I've seen a lot Absolutely. of the live streams we review. It's like way too hot on one person in this dark over here. A little bit of adjusting would probably fix it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and the problem is if you don't have a pew straddler lift or something like that it may be not very often where you get the chance to get up there and yeah, yeah. and retweak those and maybe you've moved people around on your stage and That's so true. It's, it's not in the right spot anymore so yeah you need to try to do that every few months at least you know go up and refocus things or make sure things didn't get you know bumped mm -hmm. or whatever and if you move people around on the stage a lot just like put an even wash across the whole front of the yes. stage where people are yep to watch the full q a with ryland join our inner circle at the link in the description